Before we start the video, just like to take the opportunity to remind everybody I have an email subscription list. The links for the sign up are in the description to the video below. So um, click the link, go over there, sign up, and I can keep everybody up to date with the latest projects and uh, artwork and videos, but also my latest book, which will be out early next year. It's uh, based around a very different version of death than we've seen in pop culture so far. He's coming out of retirement to help a transformed human soul to stop an ancient enemy from invading the Earth dimensions with his demon horde. It's action, adventure, pathos, and heart all the way in this story. It's definitely got its feet firmly based in the Bronze Age and it's all ages. So um, check that out and uh, I'll be able to give you more information about that and the crowdfunder on that if you're part of the email list. Uh, I'll also make sure there's an extra perk in the crowdfunding for anybody who is on the email list. So with that, thanks very much for listening and on with the video. Hi there, welcome back to the dojo. This is Comic Book Black Belt and uh, this is one of a series of videos where I'll talk about some basics. Um, I'll reiterate the reason I call myself Comic Book Black Belt is that um, when I first when I got my first Dan, my first black belt, I realised that my first black belt was about um, understanding the basics and then moving on through my Dan grades to appreciate and understand more techniques and, and, and take in more knowledge and uh, appreciate the art more. Uh, so you weren't an expert at a black belt, you were just beginning your journey and that's how I feel about my artwork is that I've kind of got a handle on the basics, I'm, I'm, I'm getting where I want to go but there's so much more for me to learn and to appreciate and to share with other people uh, and to improve my techniques. So that's where the name comes from. Um, this video, as I said, is one of a series of videos where I talk about some basic techniques that you can put into your comic strip work. Um, I want to just shout out a quick thank you to Marshall Lee because he inspired me to do these videos. Thank you. Uh, you go check out his channel and I'll put a link into his channel in the description. Um, so uh, let's get straight on. Um, this is single point perspective um, and uh, a lot of the time when people look at perspective they they want to go all in and, and have this uh, amazing um, uh, viewpoint where you get serious uh, perspective um, proportions and what have you but single point can be very useful and single point is literally as it as it suggests is one point of origin and you get get out all your uh, guidelines from that single point and then the facing aspect of any of the objects i'm just drawing some geometric objects in here any of the facing aspects of those objects are face on to you you don't try and put any more perspective into those or angle them at all um now this might sound like it's very simple and straightforward and maybe a little bit dull but but actually there's things that you can do with it um but first and foremost, it's very straightforward. Uh, I'm doing this on screen. I'm using Lazy Numo to help me out with a couple of the lines, although I'm doing a lot of it freehand. And that has a fantastic perspective tool on it, but that's all for another video, another time, which I will do. Um, but you can do this with a, a pencil and paper and a ruler. As you can see there, I've, I've got a cityscape, I've got like a, 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 a spaceship, and they're all working from a single point of origin. So it makes the drawing of perspective very straightforward and you can add drama in by doing this you don't need two and three point perspective which i'll do a video on at a later date but just to make this very straightforward single point perspective i'm putting in some geometric shapes here and we're creating a character so that in itself creates drama because you're looking down or up at that character and you follow the origin uh, guidelines back to the origin point to create the 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 um the widths the appropriate widths and lengths for your character so I, i've got in a, a, a galactus there and you can see there's drama because you're looking down on, on top of him um but using that single point as i've done with the city street panel there it, it, you don't have to stop there so you've used single point it's fairly straightforward to do but then what you can do is you can take for instance your city street and you can tilt it and if you tilt it you then create more visual drama so you don't have to put quite so much into the perspective aspect of it and you still get drama out of something very good you know quite simple then you add in your action your your uh, characters and what have you 
and you've got actually quite an exciting panel from a very simple technique. And just here at the end, you can go as uh, quite deep into detail as well. And, and even though this is just a single point perspective, I'm getting quite an intricate, uh, detailed view of a city, um, all from that single point of origin. So you don't have to go the whole hog. It depends where you're using it in your panels and where you're using it in your story as to whether you need one, two or three point perspective. But don't just ignore single point and think, oh, that's just like the simplest version and a bit dull. You can still use it and it can still work in your story and it can still make a very dynamic panel. So hopefully that's helped in some way. It's um, I just thought I'd share these things. It's, they're not tutorials. They're just me sharing techniques, ideas and concepts. So uh, if you've uh, got any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, I'd love to hear from anybody who wants to talk more about comic art. That's what the channel is all about. It's about um, sharing the art and um, talking about comic books and comic book art. Um, so like, share, subscribe. To those people who have already subscribed, thank you so much. Every video is going to bore you the same way. You, you know, it's humbling to have people uh, subscribe to the channel and want to listen and look at the, the stuff that I produce. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Like I said at the start of the video, I've got an email uh, subscription list. Sign up for the list and I can keep you informed of the latest projects, videos. Also, other people that I work with as well. People like um, Unstoppable, Jay over Unstoppable and Marshall Lee and all the rest of it. But I won't be filling up your inbox. It'll just be once a month. And uh, yeah, leave, leave me a comment. Come, come over, see me on uh, Twitter and Facebook and what have you. I'm all around. So um, let me know what you think. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me in the dojo. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Comic Book Black Belt. If you've enjoyed the content from this video, please like, share or subscribe and come over and follow me on Twitter. It's been great having you in the dojo. See you again soon.